Closet Smurf here, so I thought I'd show you what I found at the Wee House. So, first thing I found was Creative Cat Pet and Doodle Colour with a Muse. So, this was $10 at the Waddy Fuddy, as we like to call it. And anyway, I picked this up because well, it's just something a little bit different. So, it says, I start, you finish, relax and make art. The creative cat has become each picture for you. Follow him, adding patterns, doodles and colour to fill the pages, even collage if you wish. Be playful and most of all, enjoy. So, I'm going to continue my tale for the pages, curls, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So, there's all of that. Uh, if you're interested in that one, I will make a flip through of each of these books as well. While I was there, I picked this up. I think this was about $3 or something like that. It's just a, um, a notebook that I can't even open because, you know, they just have to make things difficult. <laughs> so it's just a little journal or whatever. I've got that basically, you know, uh, keep track of my physio and exercise and what I'm eating and all of that kind of thing. So that's cool. Now I also picked up a Johanna Basford Enchanted Forest Journal. Uh, I thought, you know, it would be good to do some sort of uh, daily sketches or something in it. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it, but, you know, it's pretty cool. A little bookmark to keep you where you're up to and that kind of thing. So it's got a little illustration on each page for you to colour in, I suppose. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And I think that was uh, 16 New Zealand dollars. And then I found some books that I've been wanting to get. Uh, so both of these are probably inspired by Anne and some other people who <laughs> have them as well, but I can't remember who. But uh, mostly... Uh, most of watched of someone colouring in this is is Anne at Pretty Pages 71. I'll put a link to her channel down below. So yeah, very cool book. I like the illustrations in it. I've you know noticed there are some fishy pictures in here that I really like because I really like aquatic pictures. Because like yes, yeah, there's some fishies in here. And there's some real cool koi ones somewhere in here, I think. But anyway, I'll do a flip through of that, although it's probably been hammered, but you know. So I picked that up, $24, and I picked up Lulu Mo's A Million Magical Creatures. I've got on order for Amazon Australia, uh, the new one from Lulu Mo, which is not new anymore. Um, I think it's called A Million Sweet Things, uh, and overseas it's called A Million kawaii things or something i think i think it's got two different names anyway so i'll pick this one up because um one of the first coloring videos i ever watched when i realized people you know showed their coloring in on youtube was um actually pretty pages um and she did i guess it's in here somewhere it's one with little dinosaurs i can't find it Not little dinosaurs, I can't remember. We had a little bit of a giggle over dinosaur flying creatures or something like that. Can't, can't find it. Where is it? Maybe it's not in this one, that'd be sad. It's looking quite forward to doing that picture. Where is it? Ah, I don't know. Anyway, I'll have a look later. So I managed to pick that up too. Um, you know, it's about three dollars more than what it would cost me on Amazon, but on Amazon I'd be paying for postage unless I get a larger order. And then I also picked up this tarot book. So uh, there was that uh, real nice tarot book that I think uh, Caligaricious. I can never say. I can never say. They've got it, and I know that uh, Pixie has it from Pixie Projects as well. Um, but that was like $24, and I was like, I don't like this book enough to spend $24. But I found this one for $8, and I think I kind of like this one a little bit more. So, 
so you know it doesn't have all the writing it's actually just got you know like you've got one image in there and then all this writing on the other page so i think more bang for your coloring and buck this way so there's that so that was only eight dollars and my daughter saw it when i got it home so i had to buy her a copy too so she's a happy girl and i found uh, another copy of uh, quatica so this one is only four dollars so my original one i've got is much bigger um and cost me more i think this one cost me about ten dollars or fifteen dollars or something can't remember but you can hopefully see the difference in the thickness there so the reason I picked that up is because I, I had already started colouring in this page uh, and I really like the illustration so um, I've been doing this with my Faber-Castell classic colours so I need to finish that and I will be finishing that hopefully this week or I'll be working on it anyway uh, because in this little four dollar copy fortunately might even be the first page i'm not sure it's got the same Im image again so i can scan that into my computer and then be able to do it as many times as i like because i really 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 like the illustration i think it's really cool anyway so there's that as well and the other thing that i found was oh, going to be very hard to fit on camera but as you can see reduced cell it's got this mark here and stuff all over it but it's a big clipboard um i thought you know uh this would be good for me to you know put a coloring sheet on or whatever and i can do it anywhere so that be in bed or on the couch or whatever so that's all i've really got for you but there there's my little mini haul uh the other thing i did was i bought these uh little bamboo little spice jars and i I uh, got them for my loose teas and stuff to go on, and I also ended up putting my tea bags in them. Um, so I just done that with acrylic paint. You're supposed to stick it in the oven and cook it so it stays on, basically, but I don't really care. It's got some scratches and stuff like that, and that one I put my thumb on while it was still sitting, but that's all right. So I've got a, uh, another video uh, <laughs> about these. I'll link it in the description. So um, I picked up a set of 20 of these for $45 while I was there and my sister had actually bought herself a small six pack and um, her little spice rack, she needed another jar so I gave her one of them so I ended up with 19 of them. But anyway, uh, so I just used these paint pens to do that so there'll be a video about that too. So until next time girls, keep on doodling.